Hey guys, welcome to Wondering Weekends. Today we're talking about your propane system. Alright, the first thing to talk about with propane systems on these travel trailers is, uh, is tank size. So, you'll notice you have tank covers here. For those of you, those newbies that don't know what exactly what this is in the front of a, most travel trailers, this is just simply a tank cover. And believe it or not, it just slides right off. It's hung on, it's strapped on by a, uh, a small bungee. And that's it. So I've never had any problems with it coming off. And uh, seems a little bit too simple, but seems to work fine as well. So here you can see on our particular travel trailer, uh, we have 20 pound tanks. So there's a couple of advantages to 20 pound tanks and there's a few disadvantages as well. Um, the other sizes generally will be 30 pound tanks, which are about six or eight, eight inches taller and obviously hold more propane. Um, the reason I like 20 pound tanks is the first and most important reason is hitch weight. So we're getting pretty close to our payload on our tow vehicle and um, it's just nice to have a little extra space when it comes to hitch weight. Uh, the second thing that I really like about 20 pound tanks is just the availability to be able to switch them out whenever you need to. So uh, 30 pound tanks you have to go to a, uh, an Ace Hardware that provides it or uh, say a tractor supply company that actually fills your propane bottles. Whereas the 20 pound tanks, these are the same tanks that any grill, anything like that will run off of. Um, the 20 pound tanks are exchangeable pretty much at any gas station I can think of. So if you're out and about, if, you, if you're a weekend wonder like we are and you're at some place new, it's nice to know that you're not going to have to look up and find uh, where uh, a place will fill up an LP tank. So that's the thing I like about the, uh, the 20 pounders. Obviously the 30 pounders are nice. You have to fill them up less for obvious reasons. Uh, if you were taking your, your RV and uh, if you were taking your RV and, and parking it at a park and it was using it as a second home, I'd probably opt for the 30 pound tanks just because you, uh, you generally don't have to fill them up as often and uh, being familiar with the area or even taking them back to your, your normal home, uh, you would know where to get them filled. So that's the difference between 20 and 30 pound tanks. A couple of troubleshooting ideas from your propane systems. Uh, we had a situation in our last travel trailer where our uh, hot water heater decided that it was going to have us a little, a little blowback every once in a while. And the information I got was there was water in the, I mean, air in the lines. And so we would bleed the air and uh, bleeding the air, you just light the stove and wait till all of the yellow flames gone. And then generally your propane system is going to be uh, bled. Just remember that for later. Um, so I did that and still having the issues. And so I thought it might be a regulator issue. So here's your regulator here. It is not a cheap part. It's not super expensive, but it's not cheap either. But I thought it was a regulator issue. And lucky enough, I was, I was able to deal with a very honest man up in, uh, uh, up in Cleveland, Georgia, who led me to believe that it was probably my hoses. And he said, uh, it's probably your hoses and, and not your regulator. Try your hoses first. You'll save some money. And you may need new hoses anyway. The trailer was about seven years old. And he was right. Uh, the, the hoses had, had uh, become very stiff. You, know, you can see these are very pliable and they can move around. And so I replaced these hoses and also you'll see a picture on the video. Uh, I also replaced this large main line underneath. You can see where the regulator, you may not can see on the video, but uh, the regulator feeds into a main hose that feeds the unit. So it ended up, I just changed the hoses out and that solved all of our problems. So another troubleshooting uh, tip, uh, some people, they, they believe that if their stove will light, that they have adequate propane. And that's just not the case. You have a couple of different systems on your unit. So you have low pressure system, which includes your stove, and then maybe your outdoor kitchen. And then you have high pressure systems, which would be your furnace, generally your furnace, and your hot water heater. So even though your, your low pressure systems may light, you may just not have enough um, pressure in your tanks to push those high pressure systems like your furnace or your hot water heater. So I've heard a lot of people convinced they have propane by lighting their stove but then their hot water heater or their furnace won't light and that could be the reason. Another tip for your propane use, um, when you're out, this is an automatic switchover for the propane tanks which can be kind of nice but it can also get you in a little pickle. Okay, So my preference is when I come to the campsite I'll open up one of my propane tanks 
right? Generally, we're out just for a weekend, so this isn't really an issue for us, but it could be if you're out long term, a week or longer. So, I, but I generally just open one propane tank. The reason being, uh, if I'm starting to get low and my system starts to fail and I start to understand that I'm out of propane, I know that I've got another full tank over here, all right? On the flip side, if you just leave it on automatic and you don't close this other propane tank off, it's going to start feeding from that tank as well. And if you're out of propane at that point, both tanks have been drained and you're just out of luck. Um, let's just hope that doesn't happen to you about 2 a.m. when it's 30 degrees outside. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on your propane system. For you newbies out there, I hope it saves you some time and effort and maybe gives you a good couple of good tips. If you like this video, please give us a subscribe, uh, give us a like, and give us some comments. If you guys are more experienced, uh, we'd love to hear your propane tips, how to save propane, um, how to make sure you don't run out of fuel, um, anything like that. So give us a like and subscribe. So another troubleshooting uh, tip, uh, some people, they, they believe that if their stove will light, that they have adequate propane, and that's just not the case. So you have a couple of different uh, systems on your, on your, cut that out, jeez. You have a couple of different systems on your unit. So you have low pressure system, which